Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we are working on the shelf and finishing the shelf, hopefully putting a counter piece on top. And I'm just gonna show you guys a few future plans that we have coming up. So, we're thinking a slab like this for the counter. We're gonna redo it though and sand it all and make it look nice. Might not be this one in particular. And then backsplash stuff, we got this. So I hope this blue will kind of be a nice contrast to the brown uh, slab. We might stain that too and make it darker. But that is what we're getting up to today. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Cheers. Okay, we're gonna screw this piece in for the supports of your shelf. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, just cut this, and now we're gonna fit our shelf in place. Perfect. Now this will slide right up against, it should go right underneath there. There you go. Here are the three slab options we're thinking about. The only issue is that we need them to be thick, so. I think this one over here is the thickest, which is probably gonna be our best bet. Um, or maybe this one. But we're gonna go put them in the van and see how they fit and then we'll decide. It's almost made to order, actually. If we cut this here, this can kinda cut right That's here. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Okay, you got that? Is that too much? I don't know. I mean, I think it kind of looks cool. I do too. Honestly? Yeah. It does kind of, I guess your pathway is smaller, but. But we could always cut this back a little. Yeah. Because you won't see it. So if we cut that back a little and maybe that off. Yeah. You know. I, I kind of like, I like even you like, like not. You kinda, like that? I think it okay. looks cool. Okay. It looks stout. It know? does. It looks hefty, man. Yeah. I think it's cool having all this, you know. I know, it does make it kind of a huge calendar, but. It makes it for a great, you know what you could do, bro? Then you could Just hinge here. this. You it's, simply, a good, it's a good height too, and like, I could also just cook right here. Yeah, that's a great idea. So get this, so you hinge it, right? Mm -hmm. Drop it down, then you take your little corbel, hinge that, and then swivels out. We could do it. So let's take this out, okay. and I want to cut just a nick off of this here. Yeah, this is gonna look cool. Yeah, I could putty those in. You know? Right. Actually, you got that looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. I think that is gonna be a real unique piece to the van. Inside too, now you're gonna have so much more counter space. Oh, yeah, because that gets eaten up real quick when you just set a few things. Yeah, um, counter space is a premium. So, you're saying just cut this off so it'd be rounded here? Yeah, or you short. don't have to cut it all the way off, but just take that rough edge off. Let me see. If anything, I think maybe just the corner. I kind of like this. That like little when that has Oh, that's over, true. When it's so, over, let's it'll leave it then. Cool. Okay. Let's just leave it. So where's the bag now? I get the bag of stuff. <laughs> uh, tell them what happened. Yeah. The bag. Uh, no, I didn't tell them. We were at Home Depot buying all the staining things tell the story. for this. And I checked out, bought the wood that I needed for the cabinet. My dad was buying the stain stuff. I bagged it for him. And then we left. And as we're leaving, he goes, hey, you know, one time 
Well, you tell them the story. <laughs> <laughs> it happened before that I had got some cash back and I uh, didn't get pulled the cash out. I left it there, walked off, forgot about it. Went back in, told the manager. They said, okay, well, everybody says that, but I'm going to go check the video. So they left me standing there 20, 30 minutes while they checked the video. Sure enough, he came back, came back said, yeah, yeah, you left it there, all right. Um, but I can't do anything about it. The person behind you got your money. See you later. That was it. So, as so I, yeah, as we're talking about this, I go, Cody, where's the bag? He goes, I thought you got it. I go, come on, you're kidding me. He goes, no, I thought you got it. I go, I thought you were bagging it and getting it. He goes, no, I left it there. We did it again. So we, we had to go back in there. We but run back to see if the bag's there and it's gone. Somebody stole it. Yep. Literally. It but blows my mind. They said, uh, the gal let us go back and get all the stuff. She said, oh, happens all the time. So, we had yeah. only left the store for like, what? Five. 20, 20, 30 seconds? Exactly. And then it was, it was gone. gone. Yeah. It's just crazy. Grab the putty out of there. It's crazy that people would not just run back and return it to you. Like, if I saw that somebody left their bags, I would run out and say, hey, you left your bag, come back. Open it up. Or I'd bring it to them. It's yeah. funny, you don't see all that beauty until, mm -hmm. until you do it, then you see it, then it starts oh, coming out. Yeah. We're going to add some of this um, honey. It's a little deeper look, but it'll deepen some of these spots now that we got that other oil in here. So, check it out. That looks so much better. And this it looks is, like a different piece of wood. Yeah, this will be the sheen when you get the poly urethane on there. Uh huh. It'll be a nice gloss like this. That's just beautiful now. Let's kind of give some depth maybe to the edge here. It won't be that stark, trust me. Oh, when we wipe it off. Because it's just a. Cool. It'll blend a little bit. Almost looks like this side, but this has it just natural. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and we're gonna hit that a more too. So, and since it's already got the um, the oil in there of the natural, it'll just make it look really cool. So I'm doing my. This is final. So this will look like the grain kind of coming out in here. You go man successful day yes working on the cabinet slash the countertop mostly very very cool we're gonna end the night here so we'll see you guys bye welcome back to another video I'm guessing by now it's probably part five yeah this is gonna be part five of the video right, we'll call it <laughs> we're gonna put a poly urethane on here for the finish to make this really nice and clean looking and shiny and beautiful. Good job. We just got back from Home Depot and we got some tongue and groove for the ceiling. Finally, we're gonna get this ceiling 
in, hopefully, by the end of today. We only have like an hour left of sunlight, but uh, if we have to break out some lights, we can. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're putting in the furring strips right now. No, no, this is fine. I'll put it up like that. That's just, she just broke it, but that's no. fine. It doesn't really matter, uh -uh. right? It's actually good. Yeah, <laughs> it gives it more flex. Yeah. Camera and light just went down. See, at least I was recording that. Yeah. It must have been the wind. It's kind of windy out right now. Sorry about that. Hope you guys are okay. <laughs> Got some of the tongue and groove up, and now we're putting in the insulation. These are kind of like potato chips. If you bang them too much, they just break. That's a good analogy. Cherry, very delicate. Yeah. I didn't have to even cut one of these. We might at the very end for the last ones, but... Oh no, my battery's gonna die. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna end the video here. Check it out. It's really cool. I'll send you guys an update soon on the finished product when there's more daylight. Okay. Bye.